Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Handprinted and today I'm going to show you how to screen print using a split fountain. Now normally when you're screen printing you have to use a different screen for each layer and each colour but by using a split fountain you can include more than one colour in a single layer of screen print. By using a split fountain you can have graduated colour or a rainbow of colour um, that blends from one shade to another shade in the same layer with only one squeegee pull. So I have this screen already taped up, already on a hinged board with hinge clamps. So this is an exposed screen, but you don't have to use an exposed screen. The same technique will work with paper stencils, um, drawing fluid and filler, just open mesh, whatever you like to use. And you can use it on a screen that's for fabric or paper. The same rules will apply. So I've got a few different acrylic screen printing inks here. The same will work for fabric screen printing inks if you're printing on fabric. These have been mixed up using acrylic paint and System 3 acrylic screen printing medium, mix 50-50. I've just got three colours here. Okay, so I'm going to put a line of ink along the bottom of my screen. Normally, you would just put one colour all the way along the bottom, but because we're doing a split fountain, I'm gonna put all my colours along. When you're thinking about doing a split fountain, you need to think about the direction in which you want your colours going. Because I'm going to be printing in this direction, I'm going to have vertical stripes. But if I wanted to, I could put the ink along here and print in this direction. I'd turn the screen and print towards me, but along in this direction if I wanted stripes going that way. So have a think about that before you start laying your ink down. Okay, so I've got three colours here. You can do a mixture of however many colours you want. Um, this is the width of my design. I've got at least a little bit of each colour underneath my design. I'm going to hold the squeegee at a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to just flood my screen by pushing the ink all the way to the top. I'm holding it at this angle here and pushing it up. And you can see that the screen's flooded with the three different colours. I've got a sort of red section, a yellow section and a blue section. So when I print, I'm going to have some red, some blue and some yellow on my paper. So put the screen down. It's really important to keep your squeegee the right, right way around. So don't flip it accidentally or you'll mess up your colors. Lift up the screen to reveal the print underneath. Now you can see I've got some blue, yellow and red. But they've also started mixing. So I've got some green areas. You can see it better here some green areas and some orange areas where they've started mixing. The more prints I'll do, the more the inks will mix and the more of this rainbow graduation I will get. You don't have to do it in a rainbow like this. You could just go from one colour to another and not have three. That will work too. You'll have a blended section in the middle. So I'm going to lay another piece of paper down. Flood my screen with the squeegee the right way around. And print. Colours are blending even more. So you can see on this print that I've got a really good blend between all my colours now after a few. If you don't want to waste any paper or fabric getting to the blend that you like, you can do some on scrap fabric or I quite like the look of the different prints, some of which are more stripy and some of which are more blendy than others. But after a few prints, I've got a really good rainbow blend. You can see on my squeegee, the lovely graduation of the rainbow colors. If you've got any questions, we'd love to help you out. Send us a message. Happy printing.